On September 12, 1943, amidst the chaos of World War II, a daring operation unfolded in the Gran Sasso Mountains of Italy. Codenamed Operation Oak, the mission aimed to liberate the deposed Italian dictator Benito Mussolini from his imprisonment. Just weeks after the Allied invasion of Sicily and the bombing of Rome, Mussolini's grip on power began to slip. On July 25, 1943, the Grand Council of Fascism voted him out, and King Victor Emmanuel III replaced him with Marshal Pietro Badoglio. Mussolini was subsequently arrested and held captive in the Campo Imperatore Hotel, a remote location perched high in the Grand Sasso Massif. Adolf Hitler, determined to see Mussolini back in power as an Italian puppet leader, devised Operation Oak. The plan involved a complex airborne and ground assault to free the former dictator. Major Harold Morse, an experienced paratrooper officer, meticulously planned the operation, which would involve 10 DFS-230 gliders, carrying paratroopers and commandos, would land near the Campo Imperatore Hotel. Two paratrooper companies would capture the valley station of the funicular railway leading to the hotel, cutting off communication and securing the escape route. General Fernando Saletti, an Italian officer loyal to Mussolini, would accompany the commandos and convince the guards to surrender peacefully. On September 12, the operation struck. The gliders landed successfully, overwhelming the surprised guards with minimal resistance. Mussolini was secured and readily agreed to leave with his rescuers. Within minutes, Mussolini was airborne aboard a small Phi-156 stole plane, whisked away to safety and a meeting with Hitler. Operation Oak achieved its objective, delivering Mussolini back into German hands. The daring rescue served as a propaganda triumph for the Germans, boosting morale at a critical juncture in the war. However, the operation's true impact remains contested. While hailed as a success by the Germans, Operation Oak attracted criticism for its disregard for Italian sovereignty. Beyond the immediate rescue, it bolstered Mussolini's puppet regime in northern Italy, leading to brutal reprisals against Italian civilians and further prolonging the war.